meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now with the forecast. Ashley, some good changes on the way. Yeah, uh, make it through tonight, and which I think that's easy after last night. Last night, temperatures fell to around 17 mm. in the overnight hours. It felt like about 13. Yeah, it was awful. And today, um, you know, we've been in the mid-20s, and that's about it. Mm. Um, and it felt colder. But now, although it's cold tonight, we're going to start seeing a warming trend starting tomorrow. 103 days till spring. I noticed you're counting. Yep. Especially today. I didn't know you like math so much. Yeah. I don't. I looked it up <laughs> yeah. on my phone. Well, here's the good news. Yeah. You don't have to wait until spring for spring weather. Oh. Uh, on Friday, mm -hmm. temperatures in the mid-60s, some locations south, 70s, with rain and thunderstorms. That sounds like spring, right? Very now, yeah. Yeah, so I'll take that. spring just mm -hmm. a few days away for you. Um, as we get a view of the radar right now, snow showers here. And if you want to know if it's snowing in your neighborhood, we have a QR code. You can just scan that code on the bottom of your screen here. Once it pops up, there it is right there. Scan that code and you can see if it's snowing in your neighborhood, how much. And I can tell you this about the snow that we're seeing right here. Um, this, uh, this QR code is actually going to take you right to the app so you can see um, kind of when the snow comes to an end. And this snow will come to an end tonight. As we look south of Interstate 70 here, you'll notice light snow showers. This is festive flurries stretching from uh, Bloomington over into Bedford, Columbus, even the Greensburg dealing with some light to moderate snow here. Um, how much? Well, those totals have really, really started to diminish. We're talking a half an inch or less. The reason why? The atmosphere has been fairly dry for much of the afternoon. So a lot of that, what you're seeing to the south, is not really even falling to the ground, some of it. As we look outside right now, it's cloudy and it's cold, but the air, dry. Look at the dew point. Eight winds, not incredibly breezy at around seven miles per hour, but those winds calming tonight and calm tomorrow, but they pick up ahead of our next chance for storms in this forecast. Right now, it feels like it's 17 degrees for Indy. It feels like it's 14 in South Bend, about 23 in Evansville. Now, temperatures, they feel colder tonight, and they'll remain chilly to start your day tomorrow, but some improvement. All right, so here we go, hour by hour. We're in the 20s for much of the night. Not much change there. Temperatures hold steady in the 20s, and as the temperatures fall late tonight, only falling to around 24 to 25. Tomorrow morning, you'll wake up to temperatures in the 20s. Chance of a few flurries before sunrise. By 9 a.m., temperatures at 29 degrees. So signifies a bit of a warming trend that we'll see in this forecast. How warm tomorrow? Slowly warming throughout the day. We'll make it to around 38. 38 is still below normal for this time of year, but it's getting closer. See, we should be at around 42 to 43 degrees and only 38 for you tomorrow. It gets better. By Thursday, cloudy skies, yes, but 47. See, we're starting to go in the right direction here. And by the time we get to Thursday evening, unfortunately, we'll track rain. Rain with us on Thursday evening into Friday, lingers into Saturday. Now we're talking about the chance of thunderstorms. Peterman Brothers, heating and cooling forecast. So a few storms will develop for us as we get into your Friday evening. Rain, gusty winds. Right now, there is no severe threat. But that's something I'll monitor closely as we get closer to Friday. Temperatures fall into the weekend, and next week, we bounce right back. Seeing temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s by midweek.